Greetings to the 30 tribes of Yisrael scattered in the four corners of the earth and to the Gentiles called by the oxen fairied name of Abba Yahuwah Alohahim. This is the oxen fairied name that is above all names. Eternal, not spoke Jesus, not snake Allah. Is Yahuwah or Bosikayaba? Not for Jesus, neither has Nick Allah, but is Yahuwah the only mighty name that is above every other name, that is above every other name. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. It's Yahuwah, the only everlasting name, and that is above every other name, princess. Truly love Yahuwah. It's okay. So much love Yahuwah. This temple is eternal bond with Yahuwah. The only saving name that is above every other names. Every other names, yes, yes, yes. Every other names. Not Pog Jesus, neither has Nicola, but it's Yahuwah. The only awesome name, the only fiery name, the only living name, the only saving name that is above every other name forever. Horrible sequoia, but eternal from everlasting to everlasting. He is the only living name and that is above every other names. Every other names, yes, yes, yes. Every other names. Every other one. It's my made up. Every other one is just a smoke noise maker. Every other names carries no authority. It's what man may put together. Orobosi kayaba, Orobosi kayaba, Yahua, Si kayaba, Yahoshua, Si kayaba, Ruahakodesh, Si kayaba, Orobosi kayaba, Mameka, Orobosi kayaba, Mameka, Orobosi kayaba. Orobo sika yaba, aleluya. Sika yaba. Sika yaba. Sika yaba. Orobo sika yaba, Yahuwah, the father of my spirit, the father of my soul. Orobo sika yaba. Mm, hallelujah. I truly love Yahuwah. It's not a game. It's not fake life. It's not a social media lifestyle. It, this is my daily lifestyle. Hallelujah. Yes, family. Shabbat Shalom. Much love and much prosperity attend your family for you are. The only reason of our time like truth because the time is simply near. Just as we see the days goes by, so draw nigh the coming of Yahushua HaMashiach. Just as the Malak of Yehovah saith unto Yehukana, the revelator, seal not the prophecies of this book, for the time is simply near. Exactly what we are doing here, family. The cold end times, prophecies, signs, dreams in, prepare people like you, body like you, house like you, for the blessed returning of King Yahushua HaMashiach, our eternal bridegroom, to whom do eternally, our worship, praise, honor, riches, power, glory, wealth, to the glory of his magnificent Abba, Yahuwah, the Almighty. Like I said before, 
It's not my makeup. It's not what man puts together. It is simply Yahweh. In totality. In all and all. It is called Yahweh. Yud He Wa He. I am that I am. Hmm. In meme ni meme. Is the name. Is the only way out from destruction. The only name that can save you. The only name that can truly save it. This is the name. Not the impersonator. Not the man made up. But the self made Yahuwah. Who called those things that we are not as though the way he put it all together. is a self made Yahuwah. And you fear him. This is the only name ought to be feared from eternity to eternity. And they more feared so much this name. That is why they manipulate it in your hands so that you, you won't be using that name on them. It is a weapon. It is a bulldozer. It is simply an earthquake. It is a flood. It is a weird wind. It is a ton of fire. That quench not, so they won't. They won't. They won't definitely, you know, like you to be releasing such weapon. Then, of course not. Hallelujah unto Abba Yahuwah. I love him so much. Thank you, Abba. I love your Ruach Hakodesh. And to the Ruach Hakodesh is the fire, the life-giving motion, the very oxygen. The very DNA of Abba Yahuwah. That is the breath of eternity. Mm, the power of restoration. And is the one that does one. The cleanser is all and all. All inclusive. The Ruach HaKodesh. That is the set apart spirit of Abba Yahuwah. I love him so much. Including the world. King Yahushua HaMashiach. I love him so much. Thank you, Abba Yahweh, for giving me your set apart spirit, the Ruach Hakodesh, and for giving me your set apart world, King Yahushua Hamashiach. Yes, Abba, you have been worshipped, praised, loved, honored, served, always, ever, eternal, right in the temple of your eternal home, your very Isha, for you are my Abba, also my eternal husband. The mighty chain that, you know, that that locked me up with him. It is Yahuwah. This is unbreakable chain. Mm. I just love my Abba. I just love my Abba. I love my Abba. I love my Abba. I love him, yes I do. I truly love Yahuwah. I love Yahuwah. I love my Abba. I love my Abba. I love Yahuwah. I love him, yes I do. I truly love Yahuwah. I love Yahuwah. I love my Abba. Hallelujah. I love my Abba. I love him because he first do. Hallelujah. Thank you, Abba. All right, now, family, we want to do what we are here today. If you are smart enough, you're going to be seeing through the write up and through the pictures illustrated here. So, this is why we are here today because man shall not live by bread only, but we ought to live by every single word that preceded out of the blessed mouth of Abba Yahuwah. And this again preceded from his eternal blessed or fiery mouth. So I want to talk about it. No matter the fear they are trying to, you know, put in us. No matter, you know, how they want to, whatever, whatever, how far they want to push us away from this very unbelievable sight. We are seeing here before our eyes. We will still address it. We will still talk about it. We will still analyze it. 
Of course. We will. Ah, man cannot die twice now. Only once. He said it's hot you know, for man to die. Just but once. You can't kill somebody two times. Mm -mm. So let's address it in his presence. This is the message Christian pastor won't even dare look into. They are so much afraid of this. And I understand. Because, you know me, I'm not here for money, uh, YouTube mon monetization, or Facebook monetization, or Instagram monetization, or TikTok monetization. No, no, no. I'm just here to spew it out the way it is. So they that build on it, they that is using it to, you know, for their own self gain, yeah, of course, they will bend about or they will remove their mouth from a thing like this for their whatever, whatever social media handles not to go down. But now I'm going to be speaking, speaking the very mind of Abe Yehoah. I'm not going to be judging, I'm not going to be calling names, but we just say the way it is. So that, that is what it is. So we just spew it out. According to the book, is it? Ah, I will not allow it again. I will not allow to say our mind is that you know freedom of speech not be given. Because I, when I was doing research, even the few that talk about it, they were so scared talking about you know whatever talking about this talking. About, anyways, I'm here to address some certain ugly sight that I see that is you know that makes blasphemy. For the word of Abba Yahuwah. So here we are in the heavenly court room of Abba Yahuwah with this powerful message titled for you and me, LGBTQ+, plus, using month of June to celebrate that Yahuwah won't destroy the earth again for their sin, their rainbow flag. Their rainbow flag flag they are flagging it in the face of Abba Yahuwah because you gave us a word remember you said in your world that you would destroy all flesh and you said this is your covenant that, that you made with all flesh whether born again or unborn again or whether animal or human being you don't just care that this is your covenant you that when you put uh, the uh, the rainbow, or rather, when you set the rainbow, or rather, when all flesh see the rainbow being set on the cloud, that you remember your covenant. In the days of rain, where rain is about to fall, or rain, rain or is raining, man shouldn't be afraid anymore and say, hey, What is he gonna do? Uh, is he gonna blast the egg? Uh, is he gonna blast this planet again like he once did? What is going on? So Abba Yahweh said, I will put my rainbow for you to be comforted, for you to have peace in your inner man, for you to relax, to say, oh, okay, he promised that it's not going to be, it's not going to destroy the earth anymore. So this word, the LGBTQ+, plus, because that plus, they're, they're going to be adding more alphabets. That is why they put that plus. They said more alphabet is coming. In fact, they even have two alphabet outside this, outside this five. They have two already. I think now the alphabet is seven. Okay, it's seven, and I know it's gonna prestige from seven into maybe seven fourteen, because they need to add all this uh, whatever. Um, they need to add bestiality. They need to add. Um, they need to have double B. Okay. And they need to add um, uh, um, pedophile P. Uh -huh. They need to, to add that one. Because these are also perversion. And they need to also add the, what they call the, um, I think, I don't know if I'm sure. I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure what they call it. Okay, they also need to add um, uh, polyandry. Uh -huh. They will be having so many P. Uh -huh. They need to add that one. Because it says perversion. And uh, they also needs to add, okay, again, yeah, polygamy, of course, says perversion. And they need to add uh, M, masturbator, yeah, because it says perversion. And they also need to add, um, is it necrophilia? That is having sex with the dead body. Yes, because it says perversion. They need to add all these, you know, all these things. They need to add it. That was why they put plus, because more are still coming. <laughs> Anyways, so they need to add all this alphabet. That is, that is the 
the code of their plugs, you know. It is plugs. So now that we are putting the title, or should I read brokers? LGBTQ plus using month of June, you know, yeah, month of June, June to celebrate that Yahuwah won't destroy the earth again for their sin, their rainbow flag. They will be flagging it in the face of Abba Yahuwah. They will be putting in, putting, putting it in his face. They are really so high, you see. They are flagging it. Flagging it, let's be honest. They say gay pride. They are flagging it on his face. I don't understand. Why should people say there is no God? Indeed, they said the fools has already said in their heart there is no God. Why should they be saying that? Because if you studied our book, you're going to see everything said over there is plain out already. Is this, this, this one really baffles me. It really baffles me that the very covenant LGBT or whatever uh, alphabet community community excuse me yeah alphabet uh, community they 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 aren't the one that put the colors Abayewa put the colors together. Have you ever wondered why should Abayewa put seven color on the cloud? Why did he just okay? Why 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 did he just put it white? Just white. Bow, where we see that bow, everything will be white. Why not so? See, uh, white stands for purity. Since Abba Yehua is holy, that stood for the white purity. Uh -huh. Why did he just put it just white? A bow, white bow on the cloud. Why are all these diversities of color? Okay. Since Abba Yehua is uh, complete in all he does, because the white is purity. There is no iniquity in him. It's so pure. Okay. Since Abaya White is also complete in all the that is this color of that is the color blue. Complete met. Since it, 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 it don't work in half, whatever is that they always finish it. It's a complete Yahuwah. Power is in his side. Divinity is in his side. Flesh is in his side. He holds he hold everything in his hand. It's all powerful. So why did he just put it out blue? Why this diversity of colors? Why did he put these seven colors together? Have you ever wondered why? Why did he take time to add this color blue, uh, dark blue? Uh, that is the one we also called navy blue, okay? Then normal blue, orange color, uh, yellow color, green color, purple, and red. Why did he, why did he design the color of his covenant, the one he placed on a cloud for all eyes to see. Why? Now, why these three, uh, why these three signs in the cloud, in the land, also about in the uh, in the houses? When you goes to, um, uh, okay, the color of the rainbow, Genesis nine one to seventeen, Revelation four. You also see the Revelation 10, you're going to be seeing this rainbow design. Ezekiel chapter 1, 28, you're going to see all this rainbow. Including info in his own heaven. Number one. Then number two, when you go to Revelation 21, all the mansions of the new earth, they are all color rainbow. So that is the buildings that is going to be set upon this new earth. They are all rainbow color. Why? And again, the last... And but not the least, for now, there is the three I have known. Uh -huh, indeed, not the least, because we also have that in our blood. We have about how many colors in our blood? The white blood, the red one, the dark one, and the blue one, and the orange. And we also have five in our blood. Inside of you as a human. Even include the gay, the alphabet community. Let me be using that language. Now, include the flower of the land, the land. Flowers. You see how beautiful they all carry rainbows color. So this is so used to be ignored. Because I bet your wife saying something. I think after this, we'll now begin to look into all these colors. All these colors. Abba, what means something? 
powerful for humanity in all these colors. The very one the alphabet community is making big full of. Now, another question in mind, throwing out to you and me. Why these people, this community, this alphabet community, you know, decide uh, to also take the same color rainbow and say this is our own pride. Why? And again, why is it that the says perverse community are the one that also took the color of rainbow and it began to say this is our pride? Why not the murderers? Why not the ambrobas, the criminal? Have you ever seen the uh, money ritual, the fetish prince, the uh, murderers, the uh, what I say again? And in all the sins the Bible points out one after the other, they are here. We are all living together as one big family, good or bad. But now, have you ever seen any other community took this color flag and said, this is our pride and this is our symbol. And we're going to be flashing it in the eyes of the Almighty. You can do whatever you want to do. Remember, you promised you're not going to destroy the land again. Have you ever seen any workers of iniquity of any community that ever do that? The answer is big no. So, have you wonder what is it says perversion community is the one flagging it on his face. Why? Now, this one can easily answer this. Because this is the original sin. <laughs> because this is the sins of the folly deities. These are their children. Because this is the sins of Genesis chapter 3, Genesis chapter 6. In Genesis chapter 3, we see all this over there. That the folly deities, the not can begin to have unholy, oh, oh my father, relationship with woman, with the first woman. Not just the first woman, also with the man. This is what they ate in Genesis 3. It is simply sex. The, that is where they make themselves one with us. And that was why Abbey was said the punishment. He, uh, he said, I will put enmity between the serpent and the woman, between the serpent seed and the woman seed. How can you just eat just apple? And now all, uh, all of a sudden, it now became a lineage or a lineage. Serpent is going to be having seed because we ate apple, because we ate fruit in Genesis 3. Then it's going to become a children battle from one generation to another generation. That they ah, ah, now come on now. How can a fruit eaten by human be that fruit is going to be making them be wise? They just ate fruit now. He said the fruit is going to, is good to them for the eyes and it's also good to make one wise, to make one like God, make you like God. This is the original sin, people. It's already here being flashed before your face, flagging on your face everywhere. They are celebrating a whole one month. It's given to celebrate this. <laughs> and according to the Gentiles calendar, June is sixth month of the of the year. Okay. And the rebel, whatever the LGBTQ plus community, their color is also six. Six, that is the color of uh, the, the, the number of man. And that is also the number of beast. <laughs> There's so much in this, and I'm, and I'm, I don't want to do long. But we just enter this very open door. And devil, you be rebuked in Yahweh's mighty name because Apostle Shahu make it so clear that a great and effectual door has been opened unto me. But he said there are many adversaries, many enemies. But you be rebuked in Yahweh's mighty name. You can't attack me. I will spill all out in Yahweh's mighty name because Abba Yahweh said he put all these, all, uh, these things for, for, for his own use. Social media is, is if, if it doesn't want it, it cannot study created it all. Psalm 24 said, The earth is here and every single thing in it. So, 
any how anyhow you want to attack let the finger of your word that is being pierced on the cross rebuke you in his mighty name so we want to do now after the question why 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 we want to do the main subject hmm? look chapter um, now alphabet community this goes for you hmm? because you've been created by yahuwah himself you never create yourself he holds everything okay so this go for you all mouth is going to confess that yahuwah is almighty whether you like it or not that is his name i am that i am whether you know me or you don't know me you know i'm holy or you know i can destroy you i am who i am so now we want to feed it now with scriptures so before we start digging into it another one question that i also in fact i almost forgot this one i almost forgot so we i'm adding it now in 2020, I've already shared a testimony how Abba Yawa ministered to me through the rainbow in the cloud, three different in three uh, different occasions, always at the feast of Tabernacle. So in 2020, it gave me it gave me double rainbow. I should be happy. I should be celebrating. I should be rejoicing because it's remembering his covenant with me, and that is the sign of my birth. Okay, now uh, to 2020. October 1st, in the middle of the Feast of Tabernacle, fourth day of it, I saw double rainbow. Let me show you what I mean. You know, technology don't lie. Hmm? This was the double rainbow. You will even see it in my social media handles, even though they took down already those one, the, the Instagram. But I still have it on my two Facebook. I also have it on my YouTube because I use it to minister. This is 2020. I saw double rainbow. That was 1st of October. Okay. All right. In the Feast of Tabernacle. Fourth day of the Feast of Tabernacle. So this one is 2022. 2021. Did it give me any? Why? Because he gave me double in 2020. I saw double rainbow. Now in 2022, I saw another rainbow. 1st first, uh, first of October again. Oh no. You want to call this coincidence. But to me, this is just too huge to be ignored. If you watch it, they are all the same place. In three different occasions. Okay. Now, in 2022, it came back again the same on October 1st. That was Sabbath. This one was on Sunday. You can construct it. You're going to see it. Calendar don't lie. Uh, you know, technology don't lie. Uh, no. This one was Sunday. 1st of October 2020, I saw Double Rainbow right at the Feast of Tabernacle. This one is 2022, Shabbat, the one you call Saturday. Again, the Feast of Tabernacle, the third day of the Feast of Tabernacle. That is October 1st. Second, that is the second one. Now, this year, last month year, October again, Sunday, 10 days after the Feast of Tabernacle, eh, on the 15th, it's also on my social media handle. They are all the same place. The, but this is, are you, are you saying this is coincident? So, I have my own color in the rainbow. I'm a woman and I'm a wife. I'm a bride of Yahuwah. So, one color is being given unto me. And that is why I bet you keep ministering unto me about the rainbow, seven colors. It is simply a covenant for humanity between Yahuwah and humanity. So we will start digging into it maybe next Shabbat. Maybe next Shabbat. Now, what is homosexual? Should I be calling them like that? No. LB, LGBTQ community. Why? Oh, no. Are they not flagging? Oh, uh, this very, very, very taboo in the sight of Abba. You are flagging their sex perversion. That is bluffing. You are having such unholy sex, and you now said the creator of sex should be watching you and doing nothing about it. Now, remember the reason for this, it is the scene of Genesis chapter 3 and chapter 6, like I said. And what was the sins over there? It is fully deities intermarry with women. 
It is women, woman as a helper, helping the fallen deities to bring giants into this planet. Now, the first destruction of Noah's days. Why, why were they? Uh, it said Genesis chapter six that these fully date is now beginning to have sexual intercourse with women, and women are beginning to bring children called giant onto this earth. Why? Because they knew in Genesis chapter three, verses fifteen, Abba Yahweh has already promised a Messiah over there, the very first covenant, the Adamic covenant, in the color. Rainbow. They knew already. So for him not to do that, and right away in that same Genesis 15, Abba Yawa said, The seed of the woman, Abba Yawa run, run to the back of the woman for help. Because the woman is a helper. That is our name. He gave unto us. But these folly deities that know so little about Abba Yawa, we are not thinking it's gonna the seed is gonna come from Ma. It's going to be mere seed. So what did they do? They corrupt the man. Same sex, homosexual. They, they corrupt the woman, polyhandry. They knew what Abba Yahweh is going to do already. In Genesis 6, that was the sin that we're going on. Polyhandry, homosexual, you know, sex perversion. What were they doing as they were joining with people? It is to corrupt the DNA. Why? In order for the bleak, bleak Messiah not to be birthed. Because they know Abba Yawa is not going to be passing any dirty vessel. He can't use any filthy vessel. Oh. Because they know so little about Abba Yawa. That was why they now begin to thought, thinking in their mind that uh, now that we have corrupted the men gene and we have corrupted the woman's womb, it cannot come. So the earth is going to become ours. Those they are flagging flag. Excuse me, those they are uh, flashing flag in his face. That the earth is going to become theirs. It's going to become their own. Because you, pro you promise you're not going to be destroying us anymore. Okay, now we will not stay here. And now we're going to be living the way we don't want to live. The sins of the beginning <clears throat> is so far before you and before me. And people still have the guts to say, Bible is a man made up. Whereby some people is fulfilling everything in the Bible. <clears throat> this one is my boggling people. Anyways, I quickly chip in this. My own color is in the rainbow. That is why I keep ministering unto me. Flash my birth sign. Okay. That is why I keep using it to minister unto me. So right now I want to put in uh, the scripture. This one goes for you. LGBTQ plus community. This one goes for you. Now we want to, because you are celebrating. That is, they use the whole month to celebrate. Even our feast, we don't have anything like, highest is old eight days. Yeah, I said, I'm going to make my own greater. And you see, this one hurt me so bad when I also caught, caught this revelation. You see the people of the world, the secular world, the authority, the lawmakers. What did they do? They give, that is they legalize the flag of the alphabet community. And giving it a whole month to celebrate them. But the creator of this world, who gave them this life they are living? Who gave them breath? Opportunities, right hand fellowship, power to exist as human being. They couldn't legalize its own. They couldn't see because you are seeing the powerful, unique sound of the cloud. Every, all eyes are seeing it. Whether you are born again or not, we are all seeing it. But the lawmakers, they couldn't come to that conclusion to say this one is a sign for us. This one we just this is a wonders. It's beautiful. Who is doing this? Okay, because we don't know who is doing it. Since we are seeing it at all, let us also give it a home of to be celebrating what we are seeing, even though we know we know we don't know what, what is this. But we are seeing it, we can test, we can testify. We've seen it. Oh Isaac, we know that but Red Boy is the most famous, the most you know, powerful, greater or great celebrity on this planet, rainbow. Nothing as powerful, popular as rainbow. 
is on top of it all. Just as it is on the cloud, this is how he supersedes all signs. This is how he supersedes all celebrity. Everybody knows about rainbow. Whether you are holy or not, whether you are righteous or not, you know about it. So why is the people of the world not coming together, the lawmakers, the, the, the whatever, why did they not come also together and give and legalize it? This is a full day, okay, let me just say a full day, to be celebrating what we are seeing in the cloud. Why? So is, is uh, you know, this alphabet community, are they the one putting it in the cloud? Is it their color? Does it belong to them? Oh no, they know it, it's not their color. They know, they know two ways, not, they are not the owner of it. A power is putting it there on the cloud. Why can't they also decalize it? The whole world, since we are all here together, give it a day or a week. Let's celebrate this unique sign we are seeing on the cloud. Why? So they call about your was all illegal. And they now call this alphabet community on legal. When you speak against them, they are coming for you. When you talk any anyhow, your your social media handle is is gone. But no one is anyway. No one is talking about who put it there. So we want to see this goes for you all. Mm? This goes for you all. Uh, the alphabet community, LGBTQ plus. This is for you. I want I want you all to remember one thing. I keep asking my audience. What time are we? Spiritually, what is the time clock? Can you watch your time? And uh, what time are we? Spiritually speaking, now we are in the time of Noah a lot. Now let's read together. Luke chapter 70, verses 26 through 30. And it and as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. 27. They did eat, they drink, they married wives, and they were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. 28. Likewise, also as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drink, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built. 29. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Terry. Even those shall it be in the day that in even those shall it be in the day where the Son of Man is revealed. Did you get that? Uh, keep flagging or keep flashing your flag. Or says perversion in his face, the one that created sex is in the sex in the is in the rainbow color, holy one. Because husband and wife is here. It's the covenant. It's here. It's one of the rainbow color. The glory of marriage is one of the rainbow color. Covenant. It's here. So now, did you get that? He says he's not going to destroy the earth. But in that same Genesis chapter 9, he, he also, Yahuwah himself also put a stipulation that he will also come out to account for your sin. We'll do that now. So now you see already, let's read some more. Let's read some more. Oh, Shandala, uh, this life, not the small thing. Now that we are read, uh, look chapter 17 29 through 30 want to read revelation chapter 10 revelation chapter 10 verses 1 i want to read it all and the confirmation you can also see this in daniel chapter uh, 10 the little screw 11 and 12 and i saw another mighty angel come down from heaven this is here hosho hamishiak the biblical messiah cloud with a cloud and a rainbow was upon it. said that cloud is the new earth at apostle chapter one he ascended into the cloud and is coming with the cloud revelation chapter one verses three cloud that is where the new earth is the very one revelation 21 are uh, described for you and me the earth himself is going to be destroyed how much more you 
that destroy the earth. You will be destroyed along with it. Uh -uh. Revelation chapter 10, verses 1. And I saw another mighty angel come down from heaven, clothed with a cloud, and a rainbow was upon his head, and his face was as it were the sun. You see, the color of sun is in the rainbow. <laughs> that is Yahushua himself, the sun, the yellow color. And his feet as a pillar of fire. Fire is also there. Sun and fire are one color. They are there. <laughs> the orange. Oh no. Two. And he had in his hand a little book open. And he set his right foot upon the sea. And his left foot on the earth. Three. And cried with a loud voice as when a lion runneth. And when he had cried, seven thunders uttered their voice <laughs> you don't know what is coming this is the one is coming up the days of lot it is rain of fire no more water for and when he, the seven thunders had uttered their voice i was about to write and i heard a voice from heaven saying unto me seal up these things which the seven thunders uttered and write them not why because it's already here you have it already. It's already here. You don't need to write again. We don't repeat, 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 repeat. No, you can't repeat. This one is already here. Only prophesy it now. Just go and prophesy. So let's keep reading. And the angel which I saw stand upon the sea and upon the earth lifted up his hand to heaven. Six. And so by him that liveth forever and ever who created heaven and the things that are okay and the things there the okay no nah, no nah, six and i saw okay and he swore and swore by him that liveth forever and ever who created heaven and the things that therein are and the earth and the things that therein are and the sea and the things which are Therein, that they should be time no longer. So it's not going to be a long game anymore. It's not going to be, <clears throat> I don't know if you see what is coming. It's not going to be, you know, a long game. It's a, before you knew it, it's going to be here, just like a paste seven. But in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall uh, begin to sound, the mystery of Yehovah should be finished, as he had declared to his servants, the prophets. It. And the voice which I heard from heaven spake unto me again, and said, Go and take the little book which is open in the hand of the angel which still uh, standed upon uh, the sea and upon the earth. Now, and I went to the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it and eat it up, and it shall make thy belly bitter. The truth is so bitter. I said, When I begin to do research about this, I didn't go to their camp because it's so filthy. I can't even stand their camp. It scared me. It breaks my heart. It's so filthy. I don't want to go there. Let me see. Uh, the message other people is having about this very matter. I see all of them, they are burning their mouth because they're going to come after them. Social media will come, YouTube will come after them. Facebook will come after them. These people will come after them. Legally, they will come after them. They will come after them. So, because it's bitter. You want to spew out bitterness. You want to spew it out? So when you eat this truth in your mind, in your stomach, the revelation about this very, if you take it, oh no, it's bitter. And I went unto the angel Nina and said unto him, give me the little book. And he said unto me, take it and eat it up. And it shall make thy belly bitter, but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. You know, it's a medicine thing. And I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up. And it was in my mouth sweet as honey, and as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. Now, love, as soon as you eat it, look at what happened. What the seven, the voice of seven thought that releases on the cloud in the days of rain. The days of Lot is here before you and me. 
And he said unto me, Levin, and he said unto me, Thou, thou must prophesy again. Thou must what prophesy again. What did you understand by that? Thou must prophesy again. Who was prophesy before? Now, in the whole 120 years, Lord keep prophesying to the this was the sins of Noah's days, people. Noah keep prophesying. Judgment is coming. Duelage is coming. He keep warning them. He keep speaking to them. He keep letting them know what is before what is before them. But they refused to listen. Noah prophesied for a whole hundred and twenty years. The six thousand, the numbers of men, the very one they took on their head is their son. No one listened to him. I bet you always bring it flawed. Repent from this. This is not good. You can't be doing this. Stop it. It is evil. They refuse. Now, I bet you always saying to the true servant of these days, we must prophesy again so I can bend my mouth. So even though it's bitter, but I need to spew it out. <clears throat> it's going to be so sweet as honey in my mouth. And let it be bitter in the stomach, whatever, whatever that follows. I keep hearing them. The few that also speak, talk about it, they said they are so scared. They said this is the most, uh, you know, uh, a scary message they are, they are ever, they are ever done. They said they are so, they, they not begin to speak the other hand. Uh, we love you. We are not judging you. LGBTQ plus community. We love you. God created you this and that. You know, when people are speaking out of fear, you're going to be seeing the other side of them that is not sure of what they are saying. And the lion also in there will be speaking. Why the crocodile in there will be afraid. <laughs> you understand? You must profess again. So if we have to do it again, literally, what does it say? This prophecy has already been done before. This prophecy has been done before. Someone first of all uh, uh, talk about it before, but they didn't listen. So go and do it again. That's what it meant. Technically, when he said, you must prophesy again, which means that prophecy has once been prophesied, but they couldn't understand. They couldn't listen. So now we are doing it again. Let me not take it. And he said unto me, that must prophesy again before many peoples and nations and tongues and kings. Exactly what Noah did for a whole 120 years. He keep prophet, they keep mocking him. Maybe I'm going to be ready that because it's in the book of Yashar chapter um, Chapter 6, you're going to see it over there. They keep mocking him, mocking him, mocking him. Until the day this disaster released from on high. It was horrible over there. You know, this is our popular royal law. We just brief it. But the book of Yashem had the, the, the full stories, okay? You will see it over there. <clears throat> so after that disaster, it now gave all this luck. But some people now pick it up and said, they're going to keep on doing it. Since you say you're not going to destroy us again. So we're going to celebrate. Party time. Jubilation time. Celebration time. Yeah, says promotion time. They're going to be doing it now on the street. That is what was going on in the days of Lot. They even legalize it like what they did these days. This one can rip. I don't know. Anyways. Okay. Let's keep on. You see it? You see it now? So. Alphabet community. Little did you know what is coming for you. Mm? If you know. I don't think you will be repented. I don't think he will even give you the grace. No, I don't think. Because homosexual says perversion people, we are not redeemed. Yeah, matter woman, yes, of course, we are redeemed in the New Testament. We didn't say matter man. No, it's a shameful to even talk about that. I don't think grace will be given. No. That is strong blasphemy. Even animal can't even do what you people is doing. We see animal, animal. It is always male, female, and babe. Because that is, that is the glory of sex. I've never seen animal lesbian, is it? Animal, uh, you know, gay, homosexual. I've never seen that. This says perversion people also. 
You need people need to add it to your to your alphabet. You need to have double P, double or triple P. You need to have double B, you not know, bisexual. No, also add bestiality. Hmm? Okay, we see the, the sign of his second returning, like the days of Lord and like the days of Noah. And Noah prophesied for 120 years. They couldn't get it. And after Abayewa destroyed the OF, yet men couldn't take lesson from what, uh, uh, from the first destruction. They are still provoking to hunger to do it again. And that was why he said in Revelation chapter 10, in the verses 11, he said, You must prophesy again. I'm prophesying again. Because you couldn't get it the first time. Maybe you can get it this second time that destruction is coming now. This is what they are using against Abaya. What they are using his own wells, his own covenant against him. Genesis chapter 9 verses 1 through 17. And Yahuwah blessed Noah and his sons and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. And the fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth and upon every fowl of the air, upon all that moveth upon the earth and upon all the fishes of the sea into your hands are they delivered three and every moving things that liveth shall be meat for you even as the green herbs have i given you all things for but but flesh with the life thereof is that but flesh with the life thereof which is the blood thereof shall ye not eat. you see see this tabulation is not freely given there is a condition. I'm not destroying the earth again, but with a condition. If you meet up with it, I won't do it. But if you don't meet up, I will do it again. Prophesy again. Five now. And surely your blood, and surely your blood of your life, we I require at the hand of every beast, will I require it. And at the hand of men, a man, and the hand of every man's uh, brother will I require the life of man. Did you get that? If you have to stain blood, if you have to cut off blood, this uh, alphabet community, their blood is not counted anymore before Yahuwah. Now, Ezekiel chapter 1 verses, uh, Ezekiel chapter 3 verses 18 said, when somebody is doing bad and you don't know what they are doing is bad and you couldn't speak about it to dissuade them from uh, their evil. He said, therefore, that person will die in their wickedness. You that knew they were doing evil, that is going to lead them into eternal judgment of Abba Yehovah. You couldn't rebuke them. He said, therefore, the blood of those people will be required from you. Blood is so, that is the color red. It's like I'm unveiling it already, but there are more into all this, okay? It's just like a knock, okay? Now you contaminate that blood. You pollute that blood. What this alphabet community is doing, it is blood contamination. It is blood pollution. It is sin against blood. You are sin against your own body. You are destroying that blood not to count in eternal rest but rather to cut in the eternal fire, which is the color orange. Have you ever seen fire burn? That is the link of fire over there. But if you bypass what will take you to this color orange, then it will turn hilly. That is, you see the tree now. Are you seeing the tree? In this winter now, all of them is going to die. They will turn yellow. When they fall on the ground, they will be orange color. But what happened at the resurrection when they come but they'll turn green again? Prosperity. Oh, this they are all fully loaded. And I bet you was not playing no games. In me, what he put over there, they are covenant for you and me. Now you contaminate that blood. So he said now you will die in your own sin. Your own blood will be upon your own head. Because you you spread that blood. Now why are they, why are they doing this? In this present time we are. Before, in Genesis 6, what they do that is to is to corrupt all the DNA on this planet so that Messiah could not come. Now, remember Messiah is a husband. So why are they doing this? Since they've been destroyed the first time and again they are here again. So why are they doing it again? Now that Messiah has already come 2,000 years ago, he has already been glorified. So why this? Why is the sins is here again? Why is this or, or, uh, original sin here again? Why is people practicing it again? Why? And the reason why is that this one they are doing now 
it is to corrupt marriage, the glory of marriage. Remember, the biblical Messiah is a man, is not a spirit, he's a husband, he has a penis, he's gonna be married. Remember, he's fulfilled the fallen kingdom, he is the second Adam. Every single thing the first Adam do apart from the folly, Yahushua is to, is to restore all. He is a husband. That was why they pierced his side. Because from the side of the first Adam, his wife came. And the side is not made for salvation. The blood that flew over there doesn't make for salvation. It is the seat of his wife. He has a penis. He is a man. He is coming against the king. There is no king without queen. He is coming against a father. That is his new name. And that is the covenant also in his star. In Revelation chapter 19. That there is a name written in his star. It is the covenant. It is a marital covenant. You can also see that in Genesis 24. That when Abaye, or excuse me, uh, Abaye was friend. Yes, Papa Abraham. We are about to give a wife unto his only son. Yes, I can call it his only son because he's the chosen. He's a covenant child. Yes, when he was about to, you know, give him a wife to, 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 to be fruitful, to, for them to repl 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 replenish the earth. What did he do? He said, come on now, Eliezer, come and put your hand in my child and swear. If you're going to be married, prostitute Jezebel Delilah for him, or if you're going to be taking my son out of this land, into that filthy land, come and swear. Swear. It is a marital covenant. We see the covenant in the tie of Papa Abraham. We also see that tie in Yahushua's covenant in Revelation chapter 19. It's a, it's, it's a, it's a marital covenant. Remember in his first coming, what did he do? Where did, where did he reveal his divinity? His power of restoration? Where? At marriage. Where they at Cana. That is where we see the power of this almighty. That is where we see the power of restoration. Why did he first of all make himself known in the wedding? When he was being invited. Why did, why did it him start his journey? By raising the dead first. By doing some supernatural thing first. Why did he start this journey of restoration? Restoring back the earth. Why did he start the journey in the marriage? But that is where he makes himself know that hey, this is not an ordinary man. This is the son of the living Yahuwah. Why? Yes, because the, the, the problem started in the marriage in Genesis 3. Yes, the corruption begins there. The destruction begins there. The pollution begins there. So that was why he gave that. The one he gave to them, it is to cleanse marriage partially. He started it. So when it comes down, it's going to reveal the glory of marriage is going to be so beautiful. It will be revealed the way it was well in this plan. So what it did before, it was just an anticipation for you to know that the problem start in the marriage. He, that was why he begins the journey. And the, when you know where your problem starts, you start the race or you start the, you, you, you start the facing back from where the problem begins. The problem begins in marriage. The marriage is the problem. Is the color that was why me woman about you keep revealing this rainbow rainbow October first October I'm in Nigeria being in Nigeria I know what October first simply mean it is freedom it is our day of independence we will get freedom from our slave master so he ministered to me in two different occasions October first October first and you call this coincidence ah no this is too huge to be ignored that is why I sit. I sit and throw, if now I enter my judgment, my throne of judgment already in this rainbow matter. I'm going to be releasing one by one, all colors. He says, son of man, you're not going to judge these wicked people for their evil. I enter my throne of judgment already. Because Abba Yawai involved me, woman, into this. Now you see the consequences. Your blood, you pollute your blood. Fearful. It will destroy you and the earth again. Should I take five again? Be sure. He said, and surely blood of your of, of your lives will I require. Why did you pollute your blood? It is man and woman. It is not so that mind. Man to man, woman to man, woman. And they also call so the, the L stands for lesbian. The G Start for start uh, stood for gay, the B uh, stood for uh, 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 be, uh, excuse me bisexual. You can be doing man, you can be doing woman. That is a that is a taboo. Come on now. 
Uh-huh. What, what is the last half of it? The T is simply transgender. Ah, come on now, Bob Risky. If you see the fire that is waiting for you, you change yourself from a woman to a man. Eh? You change it from man to woman. Ah, no. Ah, no. And the Q, they said it's cute for questioning their identity. Yes, I enter my throne of questioning already. And they also said it means a, a queer or so, queer, whatever. Another says perversion attitude, behavior. So that is why they put that plus. Because the, the alphabet is going to be extended. But he said it's going to, your blood that you polluted, he said it's going to request it from you. Uh -uh. What, is, what is the meaning of that? Five now. And surely your blood of lies will I require at the hand of every beast. Will I require it at the end of men, at the end of every man's brother? Will I require the blood? He said the bisexual. Excuse me, the bestiality. You join it with beast. Now, so this this is the problem. Here yeah, is a problem. So you don't rejoice. Lower down your flag, because he will do it again, even in a very, you know, <laughs> dreadful way or disastrous way. Rather, he will do it again. Okay. So let me jump over to eleven through sixteen or seventeen. Then we we'll move on, and I will establish. My covenant with you, neither shall all flesh be cut off any more by the waters of a flood, neither shall there any more be a flood to destroy the earth. This is what they are using again. This is what they are celebrating, okay? 12. And Yahweh said, This is the token of my covenant which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual what? Generations. Sorry, this is not perpetual anymore. Because if you will read verses 4 or 5, you see there is a stipulation condition over there for this, in, in, in order for this one to be perpetual. 13. I do set my bow in the cloud, and it shall be for a token of a covenant between me and the earth. And it shall be, and it shall come to pass when I bring a cloud over the earth, and the rainbow shall be seen in the cloud. And I will remember my covenant, which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh, and what and the waters shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh. Sixteen, and the bow shall be in the cloud, <clears throat> and I will look upon it that I may remember the everlasting covenant between Yahuwah and every living creature of all flesh that is upon the earth. 17. And Yahuwah said unto Noah, This is the token of the covenant which I have established between me and all flesh that is upon the earth. So this is what the alphabet community is flagging now on his face. They took that rainbow. They took the covenant. They begin to flash it on his face. This is what you said. This is what they are using to accuse him. The fool in this says in their heart there is no Yahuwah. So Genesis 6 and 7, you can read it. <clears throat> Genesis 19, what was going on? The homosexual. Oh. That is the one coming up. Okay. So let's quickly look into Abaco. Uh, Abaco chapter 2. Because I just want to, you know, to, to be sure that the gay, uh, whatever, alphabet community get this clear. Habakkuk chapter 2, verses 2 through 4. And Yahweh answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. Mm -hmm. 3. And for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry for. Behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him. But the just shall live by his word, faith. So don't say he's not going to do it again. He said it might be tarry. You know, yeah, it might delay. But don't say it's not coming. Joel chapter 2 is coming. Let me read Joel. The disaster is fat here. Yeah. Joel chapter 2 verses 1. 
Blow ye the trumpet in Zion. That's what I'm doing now. And sound an alarm in my holy mouth. That's what I'm doing now. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of Yahweh cometh. For it is now at, at hand. <laughs> if you see what is coming too. And a day of darkness and of gloom, uh, gloomness. A day of clouds and of thick darkness. Rainbow on the clouds. <laughs> Even the earth himself will be destroyed. How come you, you, won't, you won't be destroyed? Revelation, uh, excuse me, Romans chapter 8. He said the earth himself is going to be rebirth. That is, we see the, the glorified body of the earth in Revelation 21. How dare you not say, you that is perverted the earth, you say you will not be destroyed. How, how, how dare you? Mm -hmm. Verses 2. Okay, yes, we are still on tomb. Okay, let me take it again. And the day of darkness and of gloomness, a day of clouds and of thick darkness, as the money spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong, their heart not being ever like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. A fire devoureth before them, and behold, uh, and behind them a flame burneth. The land is as the garden of Eden before them, and behold, then a desolate wilderness, yea, and nothing shall escape them. Nothing, absolutely. This is like fire, it's darkness, it's cloud. You know what is in the cloud? Rain again. It's fire. He said, Yahushua said, it's coming, it's gonna, it's a fire that is gonna burn up every old things. All things ought to pass away. Old things. Is that not Second Peter chapter 3? She was mocking us that uh, he's not coming. Flag it, flashing the flag on his face. Yeah, Second Peter chapter 3. Let's quickly also read there. Let's quickly also read there. I just want to read judgment for you. So that you lower your flag. Don't celebrate. No. It's not called for. Uh, second Peter chapter 3 verses 1. This second episode, beloved. I now write unto you in both which I stir up in your pure minds by way of remembrance. That's it, too. That ye may be mindful of words which we have spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandment of us, the prophet of Yehovah and Savior. 3. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days Scoffers, uh, this these are the alphabet community, okay? Walking after their own lust. Mm. Four. And saying, where is the promise of his coming? <laughs> For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. For this they willingly are uh, ignorant of that by the word of Abayah, who are the heavens were of the heavens were of old and the earth standing out of the water and in the water. So he began now to talk about how Abayiwa put all this together. Now that we just take the flag, you see all of that, that will be flashing off on his face. Uh, you will not destroy the earth again. Remember your promise. So he's not going to cut off flesh anymore. He will do it again because you pollute your own blood. In that same Genesis chapter 9, there is a judgment there. He put a condition and he put a stipulation. If you meet up with this requirement, you will be set free. But if you if 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 you are not, sorry, the flood is here already. Mm? Alphabet community. This is this goes for you. Second Peter, what we just read, I couldn't read all. Third, Yahushua is gonna burn up everything with fire. Everything is going to be set ablaze. The whole earth is going to be burned with fire. <laughs> so, as you know, First Corinthians chapter 3 or so, they also said that uh, every work is going to be tested by fire. If your work survives, therefore, you, you escape fire. But if not, you will be burned with your works. He said every work is going to be burned by fire. It will be tested by fire. Fire is going to review all. Which is the orange color? Eh? If that orange, that fire, it can heal you, turn you into green leaves, or it can return you to shaft, and you will not turn, you will not turn into fire. That one stood for two. 
Two things. It can heal, it can also keep. Now, Matthew 24, verses 21. Listen. This goes again for alphabet community. For there shall be great tribul tribulation, since as was not... Okay. Such, excuse me, 21 and Matthew 24, verses 21. For there shall be great tribulation, such as well, was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. 22. As, and as, as such those days should be shortened, there shall be no flesh. Be saved. Remember, what did he say in Genesis? No, nah, I will not cut flesh. He said no flesh is going to be saved. If he himself does shut in that days, but it's going to be shut in that days because of who? Because of the elect. But they, you that is poverty, you that is mocking him, you will not survive it because it's coming to burn the earth. He's going to burn every iniquity. He's going to burn every old thing. It must be burned by fire. That is the prayer he left in our bosom. Matthew 6, verses 9, 10. Our Father who art in heaven, and will be thy name. That will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So what is in the heaven? You, you see alphabet community in heaven? No. So it will burn you up. It's going to burn you up. 22. Except those days be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. But for, this, for the let's sakes, those days shall be shortened. Did you get that? 29. Now what, what's going to say? Even the power of heaven is going to be shaking at this coming. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of heavens shall be shaken. Oh no. To ledge, it will destroy the earth. In fact, in fact, this one is even more disastrous than the first one the book once revealed unto us. The greater one is coming. I won't be having time to read this. Revelation 14 make it so clear that blood is going to be overflowing from the streets. He said when the best of this planet, of the earth, is being erupted, the one that have the sharp sickle is going to rip the harvest of the earth. Grapes. He said blood is going to overflow from streets. He said the whole street is going to turn blood. Isaiah was in Isaiah 66 verses 1 through 4. Also make it so clear that he's going to stain his garment with blood of sinners. Revelation chapter 19 also make it so clear. That is blood. He said the, the, the vest, the, 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 the garment he wore is blood. He's going to stain, Isaiah 66 said he's going to stain his garment with blood of sinners. What are you saying? If you see Revelation 20. Verses 10 through 15. He said, all of them, all of you are going to throw into fire the sun and the orange. What are you saying? Fire is in a rainbow color. When you do well, it means healing, divine protection. Because in it that way, we all need to be, he said, we should be off the fire, we should quench the light. It needs to burn, we, we should be burning. In righteousness, I prefer it to be cold or hot. Look, I'm uh uh. In either way, we need to. You off your fire. Therefore, it will lit another fire in you, which is in the rainbow. The color orange is fire. It can heal you, it can also kill you. Now, how is it going to heal you? In Dure Sharia law, where the elect is going to be kept, divine protection. What's of fire is going to surround them? And that is the blood also in us, the plasma. It's orange color. The sun and the orange goes together. If you see what is fully loaded there, you should be, you should be afraid of this unseen being. And you are seeing his works, but you cannot see him. Are you not afraid? If we just put a cloud, put something on the cloud, we just appear just like that. Afterwards, it disappear. Are you not? Are you not scared? Are you not afraid of such power, of such a deity? You you are fighting the unseen power. <clears throat> Anyways, Revelation forty. I quote that already. Twenty. I quote that already. Mm -hmm. Now, John chapter eight, verses forty-four. He said, "You are of your father, the devil." And the will of your father, ye would do. This is the beginning. Say in the beginning, this is what your father was doing, and you are still doing it because you are his children. You came from unholy birth. 
you know, relationship. You came from a sense perversion. You came from the lust of your own flesh. You came from there. And it's really you will be, you, this is what you are going to be carrying out. Now, I quoted Ma, uh, John chapter 8, 34. Romans, this one is so long. This is where the judgment also, okay, whereby he gave you up to, your, to, to, to defy your body. Judgment of abandonment. At the end, he said he's going to cut you off. That is Romans chapter 1. Okay, let me quickly pass through there. Hmm. I wanted to make a shortcut because this video is becoming longer now. You don't have no excuse because the rebel tell you there's invisible power up there. Now, Romans chapter 1, verses 20 through 32, For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen in the cloud. You, are you not seeing it? Be understood by the things that are made. You see what he put on the cloud. Even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. You can't. How did, how, who gave you the knowledge? Where did you get the wisdom or the knowledge of this cloud, for, uh, of this rainbow? For you took it from the cloud. You saw it in the cloud. So you are knowledgeable about it. You are not ignorant. 21. Because that when they knew Yahuwah, they glorified him not as Yahuwah. They knew him. Don't tell me homosexual. All this alphabet community. Don't tell me they are ignorant. They, don't, they knew him. That is why they took his covenant. If you don't know something, somebody, you can't, you can't be using his own proxies. And that is what they are fl flashing it on his face. Remember this? What, that is what they are celebrating. Because he said he's not going to destroy it anymore. So they knew him too well. Just that they don't want to worship him. They want to use the, 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 the covenant he had with us to be fighting him. They are still fighting. There is war in heaven. You will see that in Revelation chapter 12 verses 9. Huh? They are still fighting. Just to fight him. And because thou knew Yehovah, they glorify him not as Yehovah. Neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations. Remember Genesis 6, that is what he also said. That every inclination, every thought of man now became evil. He said every imagination of their heart is always evil. He regretted that he created human being. That was why he brought flood. Now, because they were corrupted the DNA, so that the biblical Messiah were, could they come? And now they are also polluting marriages. You will see man to man, man marrying to man, woman marrying to woman. Huh? Woman will be calling herself a husband. Yeah, will have mercy. You are corrupting marriage, so that he Yahushua will not sit in the throne of his wedding, so that he will, he will neglect marriage seat for them. That is not true. It will destroy you rather. 22 now. Okay, 20, uh, 21. Because they knew, because when they knew him, oh, what, is, what is going on here? Okay. Okay. Because that when they knew him, when they knew Yahuwah, they glorified him not as Yahuwah, neither were thankful, but became they in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. 22. Prophesied themselves to be wise, they became fools. And changed, 23, and changed the glory of Yahuwah, and changed the glory of incorruptible Yahuwah into an image made like to cor a corruptible man, and to birds, and uh, four-footed beasts, and creepy things. What is this telling you? You took the rainbow, a holy Yahuwah put on a cloud, a cloud. Of my love for the humanity, of my forgiveness for humanity, of my peace is with them. This is the covenant of peace. I will not shoot at you anymore. I will not cut you off from the land of the living anymore like I once did. But just meet up the standard. Don't pollute your blood. They took that covenant. They then begin to use it for nonsense, for foolishness. Uh, this one baffles me anyways. Uh, 22 now, Prophet Sunday. So, okay, 23. And, and change the glory of uncorrectable Yahuwah into an image made by, okay, I read that already, 24. And wherefore Yahuwah also gave them up to uncleanliness through the lust of their own hearts 
lahats to dishonor their own bodies between themselves is already here. 25. Who changed the truth into a lie? You change a rainbow color of blessing. Change it into nonsense, into shame and disgrace. And worshipped this and worshipped and said the creation, you are worshipping your flesh. Going by your own desire. You now became the God of yourself. Whatever your flesh need you give, you worship yourself. Your flesh now become your God. The creator more than the the worship okay said the creature, you are worshipping your flesh than the creator who is blessed forevermore. Should I be giving ears to him, not to your flesh? You give ears to your flesh, and that is how you worship the creature. Instead of worshiping the creator. 26. For this cause, Yahuwah gave them up unto a vain affections. <laughs> for even their women, for even their women did change the nature use into that which is against the nature. Woman marrying woman. 27. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the man, woman, born in their lust, one towards another, men with men, walking that which is unseemly, and, uh, and receiving in themselves that recompa uh, recompense of their error, which was met. And even as they did not like, okay, to retain Yahuwah in their knowledge, Yahuwah gave them over to reprobate mind, to do those things which are not convenient. Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, yes, wickedness, yeah, mm -hmm, maliciousness, full of envy, yeah, murder, yeah, deceit, uh huh, uh, worshiper, whatever, uh, whisper, yes, uh, backbiters, yeah, haters of Yahuwah, disrespectful pride, you know, they said they are gay pride, boasters, they are boasting that Yahuwah is not going to destroy the earth and it belongs to them, inventors of evil. All things uh, disobedient to parent without understanding uh, covenant breakers they break the covenants of the rainbow they don't have no understanding of what that covenant actually meant okay without nature affection okay now yes they keep describing them who knowing the judgment of Yahuwah that they which commit such things are worthy of death not only do the same but have pleasure in them that do it you celebrate them that is doing it you are doing it you are celebrating people that is doing it this is the judgment judgment of abandonment keep doing it one day is going to shut his bow at you like he once did so what was the other part i read romans already john chapter 2 verses 1 3 11 that's where he did the first miracle is a husband matthew 25 he said the bridegroom is coming so the virgins you know Lifted their light. Revelation 19, verses 1 through uh, 9. When this great whore, because this they are polluting marriage, okay, this great prostitute, when it was being cast into fire, four good times, heaven shut out, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. He said, because the wedding of the Lamb is here. His wife made herself ready, a white garment of Marita covenant was being given that is where marriages will be cleansed so what they are doing now is they are perverting they are corrupting marriage because yahushua is going to be a husband of course he's going to be marrying he's going to be having his wife he's going to be having his children that is his new name okay but what these people is doing alphabet community this is what they are doing you know to to you know to stop him not to enter his throne of rest it's in the rainbow covenant, covenant of marriage, covenant of sex. It's in the rainbow covenant, okay? It's in the rainbow color. Now, Revelation 21, I think verses 9 also said, of course, it's a husband. You see how he's describing it, that the new earth dressed like a bride, and Yahweh the husband is coming to tabernacle with his people. We are his wife. That is all about sons of Solomon. It's the song of a husband and a wife. Yahshua is a husband, spiritually speaking, and also physically. Because it's fulfilling the folly kingdom. It's the second Adam. Of course, he's going to be having his wife. He's going to be having his children. So this LGBTQ plus community, this is what they are polluting now. They will not enter the seat of marriage. Man will marry to a man. Woman will marry to a woman. I also see the son marrying to dog. 
Hell, oh my ah, Yahua. Anyway, I'm done. I don't want to drag it so long. If I'm busy less, most of the week, I think I'm going to be doing one. Should I be doing one? Or if not, we leave it for Shabbat. We, we begin to enter into the seven colors. And you see, oh, seven. This is blood. Mm -hmm. This is fire. Mm -hmm. This is song. Light, Yahushua himself. Mm -hmm. This is blessing. Mm -hmm. No, this color is not correct. Where is blue? No, there is no blue here. Okay, no. No, nah, no. Nah, this one is wrong one. Mm. I keep seeing it. No, this is not, this is not correct one. Alright, so when we start digging into the colors and all the covenants, so we will begin to make it bold. They have it here. Only one they are not having, the dark blue. The one we call navy blue. That is the only one they are not having. That is the only one missing in the gay pride uh, flag. So we'll be touching on that. We'll start next week, Shabbat, by his grace. Love you so much, Shabbat. Family, we are done for now. So this is what they are celebrating, okay? In the month of June, they will be jubilating, celebrating. Hey, hey, guys, let's celebrate. No more destruction. They, that God says so. He will not destroy us anymore. So let's do as we want. Let's just live our life as we want it. So let's do. So, so we're married to a dog. So men married to dogs, so women married to dog. Man married to man. They are corrupting the seat of marriage. This is not what marriage is meant for. This is not what sex is meant for. Sex is ours. Abba Yawa created it for a reason. For his son, the first Adam. They now go in there and corrupt that seat. Therefore, the second Adam is here to rewrite it. Now they are also doing this to push him back, not to have his seat of wedding, not to have his, not to be joined with his wife. They are also doing this to delay his coming, but he said no. He is not going to elongate it anymore. It's not going to be longer anymore. He is not going to be longer anymore. He said as a pest and a twinkling of an eye, he will be here with his bride. That is why he keep ministering unto me in the cloud because my covenant is in the rainbow. My color is there. So when we start digging into it as a woman, as a wife, as a helper, the very natural way about your one made for this to enjoy this glory says, it's me, my husband, lay on me, enjoy me all night. If busy lies in the day, enjoy me also all day. So my own is there. I'm a woman. I carry that holy well where the holy scepter need to enter. No, no other ways. Just that. It is our sex belongs to us. So we'll do more about that when it comes to my color. <clears throat> excuse me, as a woman. I have my color there. Thank you, Abba. I love you so much. Hallelujah.